guys, and welcome back to our channel. My name's Haley. I'm Brenton. That's Winnie over there, and this is Our Mesquite Life. And today, in case you couldn't tell, we're doing Girl Scout cookies. Perfect. My mm. favorite. Really excited. So, you may notice that we have some repeats here, and that's because there are actually two bakeries in the Girl Scout world. We have ABC Girl Scout Cookie Bakers over here, and then we have Little Brownie Bakers over here. So, in case you didn't know, there are two bakeries, and depending on which troop you're in, or which collection of troops you're in, depends on which bakery you get your cookies from. So that's why some people in parts of the states get caramel delights and other parts of the United States get uh, Samoas. Did you know that? I didn't. Well now you do. It's amazing. I know, I'm pretty excited. So fun story, when I was little, I lived in Louisiana and we got from this bakery. We got Samoas, Tagalongs, do si -dos, et etc. When I moved to North Carolina, we, the area we were in had um, these People. ABC Girl Scout cookies, uh, the caramel delights, peanut butter sandwiches, those people. It seems like these people were like very uninventive with their names. Over here, yeah. you've got all the cool names like triples, tagalongs, -do. whatever. And then over here, you got shortbread cookie, peanut butter patty, peanut <laughs> butter sandwich. They're very creative, Brenton. What is that about? Oh, no, it's a cookie. Just put it on the box. <laughs> but when I moved, I used to love tagalongs. And we moved. I thought they'd change the recipe because it didn't taste as good to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if it's because they're from two different bakeries. Because another fun fact, the cookies from ABC Bakery, they have one, two, three, four, five vegan options. One of which are the peanut butter patties. This is the vegan people? Yeah, these are the vegan people. That explains a lot. So I'm wondering if that's why they taste different. Mm. We're gonna find out. Let me see which one's better. We're gonna let you know. We're gonna let you know. So. This one, this mm -hmm. group, has a bonus cookie. Yes, we have we have we have extra cookies. In the little brownie bakers section, we have Toffee Tastic, which is a gluten free option. And then over here in the ABC Girl Scout Cookies Bakers are caramel chocolate chip cookies, which are these buddies, are gluten free. But then we also have a extra that is thanks a lot, and mm -hmm. those are actually Hannah's favorites. Thanks. See that's that sounds like that should be with them. And that right, because the name is yeah. I agree. Right, it's weird. Whatevs. Whatever. Them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Moving on. So, we're gonna start by comparing the duplicates, and then we'll let you guys know which bakery bakery wins for each cookie. So we're gonna start out with trefoils and or shortbread because those are the most basic cookies. Let's do it. Do it. You open one, I'll open the other. Okay, I'm Team Little Brownie Bakers. I guess I'm Team Vegan. These look like butter cookies, kind of, in the packaging. Oh, they're different. You have, like, frosty Ritz cracker packaging, and I have, like, clear butter cooker cookie packaging. It's important. So you can see this one is much lighter from the Little Brownie Bakery, and it has docking holes. But other than that, they're pretty close. Okay. Let's try them. Break it in half. We'll have to try Do you want to try this one or that one first? Let's try this one. Okay, you're already holding it, so might as well. Oh. They smell very similar. It tastes tastes like the, you know, like the tin that the grandmas always have, but it's like full of sewing supplies. Or like random. It's like pins. the basic one in there, not the little bubble with the sprinkles. It's pretty good. They have a similar break spot. Mm -hmm. These have more flavor to me. These smell way better to me, but I actually like that one better. Mm-hmm. I do too. So. ABC Girl Scout Cookies Bakers, one point. That's the most basic cookie. Next, we're going to move on to my favorite from when I was little. They're not my favorite now. The Tagalongs versus Peanut Butter Patties. Mm. Okay. Now we're moving on. Now we're getting So somewhere. your packaging's a little different. I have these little tabs you slide your finger under, and you are opening that wrong. I have a Terry thing? You have a Terry thing. Doesn't really work. Looks like it worked to me. I'm curious if these are gonna taste how I remember them tasting from when I was. Packaging is different. Oh, yep, different packaging. You have shiny and I have clear plastic. Okay, so they're a little bit different in color and then yours is frosted. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that just means it's not tempered properly or what. Mm -hmm. I'm used to these. These are the ones I'm used to. I okay, think. these are what I grew up on. Yep. Alright. So let's try yours first. Let's just bite it. And this is a classic that I remember, man. It was good stuff. So. They're pretty good. 
those none of the things like that. Okay. I think we need to wash our mouth out because peanut butter is a taste you don't want to mix up. Drink your water, kids. Don't get dehydrated. These are what I remember. Hmm. Chocolate's a little more creamy. Peanut butter's not as dry. So good. So good. I like these better. That's a tough one. Um, Those have more of a snap, but I like the creamy. I like to bite, you know, like biting into a Reese, but then mm -hmm. there's a cookie inside. Mm -hmm. Oh no! We started filming with these. Oh no, ignore crappy signs. So, we made these signs so that when I'm editing I can label these for you guys. Uh, but I guess I don't need to know. I'll do it anyways. Maybe I can hide these ugly things with that. Alright. Throw them away. Perfect. Alright. Let's go with that one. We'll give that yes. one to uh, Little Brownie Bakers. They were so good. What are these called? Tag along. Alright. So. Well, we're doing peanut butter again. Yeah, let's do it. What are yours called? Just peanut yeah. butter sandwiches? So this one is called a very inventive peanut butter sandwich. This is a dosey dough. And the pictures on the front are different. I think I like these pictures better. Mm. Although this is science-y. Mm -hmm. Okay. Both the packages are nice. So when I was little, while I was in Girl Scouts, mom got a, me and Hannah perms. So I have this picture. If mom, if mom can find it, I'll put it up here for you guys. But mom has this picture where our hair is like, just like, poofed out because we both have perm. Yes. And uh, we're in like our brownie costume, our uniforms. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. Hopefully he'll see it regardless because we're married. But if I can find it, I'll put it up here for you guys. If not, I'll put it on Instagram when we find it. So. Anyway. <laughs> um. These look, once again, to be darker. Yeah, yours look like they're baked longer. Mm -hmm. Probably maybe bringing out more flavor. It's possible, like caramelization. Mm -hmm. That's a photo. See, my camera does that. It just randomly switches to photo mode. And your little hole in the middle is less, like mine is like a hex and yours is like a triangle or a diamond. They're like splooting out the back. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start with yours in typical fashion. I've never had these before, so I'm not sure how I feel about them. I mean, they're not bad. They're not exceptionally exciting. You know what they'd be good dipped in chocolate? Like at Christmas? I love dipping stuff in chocolate. Every Christmas we do, we make candy and we just dip random things in chocolate. This is my info sheet in case you're wondering. Mm. So. Do you like peanut butter cookie cracker things? Perfect. All right, let's go to try it Oh, out. before we move on, the peanut butter patties. Where's your box at? Right there. No, the patties. Did you hide it? These are vegan, according to their website. Please, if you are vegan, please read the ingredients to verify that they're vegan. But on their website, they claim that these are vegan. So. Okay. So. Once again, the cookie definitely has more flavor on this one. than the other one. I agree. So, I don't know if it's their baking technique both good. or whatever they put in the actual dough or whatever, how you make a cookie. Mm -hmm. It's better. So, ABC Girl Scout Cookie Bakeries for the win on the peanut butter sandwich. Cookie. Next, we have one of my favorites. Samoas! This is actually one of my buddy's favorite favorite. He has caramel delights. Yeah, not mine. This one, right? So, shout out to Daniel and Jenny. We're about to eat some Samoas. Did you send them the link? <laughs> I guess I will after this. Huh? Uh, oh, these smell divine. Okay, so. They're delightful. I think these are darker than yours. And then it's got the, the chocolate's got that frosted look to it. This one's darker for once. Yep. Not just the chocolate, the actual coconut too. Yeah. So we'll see. So on these, the um, the little brownie bakery bakers is actually darker. Usually this one's darker so far. So 
Let's start off with your little guy. Okay. Bite it. It's not overly caramelly. Mm -mm. It tastes way better than those Oreos the other day. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to see us trying every flavor Oreos, you can check the little eye up here and we'll have it linked for you. Next. So this is the little brownie bakers and I haven't had these since I was little. I already like the bite better on this one. I like this one better. Mm -hmm. It's way better. I agree. Sorry guys. Mm -hmm. Sorry ABC. Not today. Samoa's for the win. Looks like Daniel's right. Samoa's are the superior Girl Scout cookie when it comes to Caramel Delights versus Samoa's. Mm -hmm. Next. Next. Thin Mint. Oh. I think after this we're done with like the basic Girl Scout cookies. Like from when I was little. Mm, okay. Because I don't think they had s'mores or lemonades when I was little. No. I don't actually remember. Oh yeah, I do. So this is one of them things to where this is a Thin Mint. That's a Thin Mint. They're both called the same thing. The packaging pictures are identical. Yeah, both sides. The boxes the cookies are, are a different, little different. Though. The one's slightly shorter. Mm -hmm. This one apparently has more sugar, so. So I would like to say that I've never had a Thin Mint before, and when I tell people this, they freak out. Okay. What do you mean you've never had a Thin Mint? It's because Thin Mints are amazing. Everyone is obsessed with these. Like, there aren't many people that I know that don't like Thin Mints. Mm -hmm. So they better be good. Clear back. Mine is frosted, but not like not like yours is. They definitely look different. Yours has like a fluted cut to it. Mm -hmm. And this one's just kind of round. Ooh, they smell minty. I mean, that I guess they're supposed to because they're Thin Mints. But they definitely look very different. Okay. So let's go with yours first. They're not bad. Right. I mean, I wouldn't freak out over them. Like the I would. But they're good. Now for the other Thin Mint. Hold on. What's up? The descriptions are different. This one is crispy chocolate wafers dipped in a mint fudge coating. And this one is crisp chocolatey cookies made with natural oil of peppermint. Hmm. So, Also, Thin Mints are vegan from the ABC Bakery. I'm going to go with these. This is way more minty than the others. I like these better. Mm. I like the texture of them better. And the texture is better. It's the taste is not. To me. But I'm not a huge mint chocolate fan, so... Are we going to give them a tie? Mm, yeah, I'm definitely voting these. Okay, tie it is. So, Brinson's going to vacuum later. He likes vacuuming. I'm not just being bossy. So these have a very distinct, different look. Mm -hmm. Same name though, right? Girl Scout S'mores. S'mores yeah. Yep. I definitely like the look of yours better. Yes. These are the ones I think I'm used to. This is very hard packaging. Yes, these are the ones that we had in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So. Mom loves these. Very, very different. The uh, S'more ones. Mm-hmm. So these are extremely different. And these, I'll show you guys, if you can tell, have a marshmallow layer and a chocolate layer. So these visually look like a s'more. Mm -hmm. Well, then I think we use it on the inside. There is a marshmallow layer. It's very small. Mm -hmm. I like putting these in the fridge. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. I've never tried it. You know what these remind me of? The um, Keebler. Keebler. Thing that Daniel mm -hmm. had each other today. Dang it, Daniel. You and your snack influences. Dang, Daniel. They taste different. I don't know how you could even compare them. They got the same name, so we have to. They're basically two different cookies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to go with these. I think I agree. Those, I feel like, are good. These aren't bad, they're just kind of dry. Those are definitely more intense, they're a lot richer, a lot sweeter, so... Yeah. If you want like a more flavorful, that's them, but I like these overall. S'more! Next! Uh -huh. 
So these are lemonades here. This is what we had in North Carolina. Yes. And the Little Brownie Baker, uh, Little Brownie Bakery, used to have one that looked like a wedding cookie. Like, you know, like the little cookies with powdered sugar on them? Okay, well anyways, there's these cookies called wedding cookies, and that's what they look like, but they were lemon flavored. Um, but now, this year, they've come out with lemon ups, which look very similar to lemonades. So, I'm curious to see if they're going to taste similar, because when I moved here, I have to order these from North Carolina to get them where we live now. Really? Like I say, to Girl Scout. Find a different way to package these. Yeah. Because it's... Look how hard it is to get them back in a bag. Just keep the same box. Put it in the box. So annoying. <sighs> so, as you can see, the ones from the Little Brownie Bakery are much darker and they have inspiring things on them, like I Am Creative. And these are printed with lemon. And these have like a white icing. chocolate icing or something. Like a lemon flavored icing. And then these have some kind of icing. But it's not very thick and I don't really know what it is. So, there's that. You could have let me bite my favorite one first. You put it in here. Mm -hmm. You wanna finish it off? Mm hmm. You wanna finish it mm -hmm. off? Mm hmm. So good. Darren also likes this very much. Mm hmm. And Darren? Mm hmm. Darren loves it. Mm hmm. Very good. Very, like guy. very lemony. Alright, let's try the other one. Let's wait till she's done eating first. Okay. Now, for the little brownie bakers. It's like when she's eating Fruit Loops. Yeah. Or Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. Like artificially lemon. Mm -hmm. You can finish that one. I uh, much prefer the lemonades. Mm -hmm. But those are good. They're just, I wouldn't eat them over the lemonades. They're not bad. Lemonades are definitely superior though. Lemonades! <clears throat> it looks like ABC is like way above so far. <laughs> So next, we're going to compare the gluten-free options, which are these Toffee-tastic and these caramel chocolate chips. So these are gluten-free, so if you're allergic to gluten or sensitive to gluten, these are your cookies. I would like to say that these say gluten-free on them, but those don't say vegan hmm. that I've seen. Have you seen them, any of them say vegan? No. Okay, so, before we start, I'm going to read off the ones that are vegan for you guys. So, you can, if you're vegan, you can order from ABC Girl Scout Cookie Bakers. Okay. Peanut butter patties, Thin Mints, Lemonades, Girl Scout S'mores, and Thanks A Lot, which we haven't tried yet. So, if you're vegan, those are your Girl Scout cookies, and they're good, surprisingly. You're right. I, I don't think the vegan I'm ones have won every time, right? Um, other than the peanut butter patties, they didn't win. Yeah, other than the peanut butter patties. I would like to say, I'm not against vegan anything. You know? It's not like I'm like, of course vegan food is mm -hmm. not going to taste good. I have seen where people have made vegan things that tasted amazing, baking-wise. I've just never had one. All the vegan baking I've had was gross. It could have been because the girl that did it always flavored it with lavender, and I hate lavender. Um... <clears throat> but moving on we so toffee tastic is the gluten-free option for little brownie bakers and, and the caramel chocolate chip cookies are for abc i think it's kind of crappy that this box is so much smaller and there's only one sleeve the cookies do look similar though they're fat cookies though other than the filling inside of them these look like those little um, cookies you get in your lunch when you're little, like in Lunchables. Mm -hmm. I feel like this one should have two sleeves like the rest of them. I feel like if people are spending money for gluten-free, they should get the same amount of cookies. Okay, so let's 
still in these cover. So we're gonna try Toffee Tastic first. This is described as rich buttery cookies with sweet crunchy toffee bits. Looks like I this picture with a caramel on the front though. Oh my god, they're hard. Hmm. Wow. Mm. Gluten free and also taste free. That's uh. The only way I'd ever eat that is if someone crushed it up and used it as a pie crust on a cheesecake. Oh. Next. Just ruined the whole video. <laughs> These taste like generic store chocolate chip cookies. They're not horrible. They taste better than these. Obviously, since we didn't finish that. You can just throw this away. Yep, I will. I'll give the box to someone who's gluten free. Like, um, wow. I will say I've had a lot of gluten free baking that was really good, and I think they could do better. The toffee is not good, that, in my opinion. You might love it, and if you do, great for you. I don't like it. The to caramel chocolate chip cookies I could totally eat. I don't think they're the best chocolate chip cookies I've ever had, but they're not horrible. Right. All right, last cookie. So these are my sister's favorite, Hannah. And these are vegan, so. And again, I don't see anywhere on here where they say they're vegan. Which is weird, because you'd think that would be a selling point. But, online, they claim that they are vegan, so. These are basically just a shortbread cookie with chocolate on the bottom, but they say thank you in like five languages. Mm. Wow, they're huge. So we've got merci, which is French. We have thank you, which is English. We have gracias, which is Spanish. We have asante, which is a language I don't know. And we have shishi. Shishi. Japanese? Japanese. And is that five? That's One, five. two, three, four, yeah. Okay. We need to look up what asante is. Does it say what the languages are? Not sure. Swahili. 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 And sorry if I butchered you guys' list language. Do you want to try Swahili? Sure. They all taste the same. So. I'm very proud of you, by the way, when you saw thank you when you said English instead of American. Did I say English? You did. Oh, woo! Sometimes I do say American, but usually if I say American, it's because I'm referring to the American way of speaking English. Mm -hmm. I mean, these aren't bad. They're just a cookie with chocolate on them. You can't really... Pretty basic. Can't really cookie. complain about it. Okay, Brenton. So what'd you think? Overall, great video, great set of cookies. I think that uh, we have a clear winner with ABC. We do. So we didn't include thanks a lot or the chocolate chip. No, I did include those. So we just didn't include thanks a lot because there wasn't a duplicate, mm -hmm. but I did compare the gluten-free options. So we have a clear winner of six with ABC Girl Scout Cookie Bakers. Their cookies were overall better. I will say that their peanut butter patties, their caramel delights were not as good as the Little Brownie Bakeries Bakers option. And we had a tie with Thin Mints. They were both equally good. I would put one of them in like pie crust and stuff, another one I'd eat as a cookie, so. It was very good, very good. Very good. What's um, your favorite out of all of them? I still have to go with lemonades. Lemonades? I just like lemon, I'm, I'm a lemon flavor girl. Mm -hmm. Closely followed by tagalongs, mm -hmm. not peanut butter patties. Well, I'm a thin mint girl myself, so. Did you ever, oh, that was a stupid question, you're a boy. Cause I'd ask if you ever did Girl Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so we've tallied up the points and we're here to let you know that the winner is ABC Girl Scout Cookie Bakers! Hands down. By um, three points. They won by three points. So they got six points total. 
The Little Brownie Baker's got three points total. They both have really good cookies. They're both delicious, but some of them we just prefer from this bakery better, but not the peanut butter patties. Just saying. No, no. Yeah, peanut butter patties. We prefer the uh, tag alongs. So there's that. Anyways, if you're gonna get gluten free, go with the chocolate chip if you can, um, because the the toffee ones really aren't. They're not that good. They're not good. No. They'd be good for they're a not. pie crust. They're That's not it. good. They're not good at all. They're not. They're just, we just, didn't we didn't finish the cookie. It's still. I mean, they're not disgusting. Right here. They, right here. They're not gonna make you throw up or anything. But like if. It's the end of the world, and that's all you have left to eat. Obviously, people They're are fine. buying them, right? Like they wouldn't keep selling them. So, like, whoever, yeah, but when you're gluten free, whoever it is out there that actually buys these, like, when you're gluten free though, and you yeah. only have one option of Girl Scout cookie. It's true. That'd be sad. If that was your only option of Girl Scout cookies, and you couldn't eat the rest of them that were actually good. Yeah. That'd be sad. It's really depressing. Like they need to come out with some good gluten free option on this side. Okay guys, that's all we got for you today. If you'd like to learn more about Girl Scout Cookies or the Girl Scout Cookie Program, we will be putting links in the description box below so that you can check those out. Please let us know in the comments what your favorite Girl Scout cookie is because we're super interested. And if you would, please give us a big like if you did enjoy this video. And if you'd like to see more videos by us, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell because otherwise YouTube will not let you know when we upload. And other than that, we hope you had a great day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! I have to do the second intro. Mm, blooper reel! Hey guys. guys, and welcome back to our channel. My name's Haley. I'm Brenton. And today, dang it, I forgot to introduce my name. So, you may notice that we have some duplicates here. That's because, <clears throat> I'm doing it again. So, you may notice that we have some duplicates here. Does duplicates sound funny coming out of my mouth? Duplicates? Guys, we have some repeats. Repeats, okay. Okay. Are you vacuuming later? I guess I am now. I can see why you like Amanda. <laughs> you call her oh! basic? <laughs> Just kidding. Hannah's not basic. <laughs> I don't think either of them suck. Shut up, Ricky. No one asked you. <sighs> oh, okay. <sighs> can you get it together, bro? Try it. Right. Cookie is, and other than that, we'll see you guys next. No! Dang it! Cut! Please leave us a comment. Mother crap. Hug, hug, hug. Do zingle. I feel like SpongeBob. You remember when he's like. Let us know what your favorite Girl Scout cookie is. And other than that, we hope you had a. No!